right? When you see a problem that reads like this, Jerry drove 217 miles in seven hours, what was his average speed? They might also ask you for the distance that somebody drove, or they might ask you the amount of time or how long they were driving. Any of those, this is uh, going to work for that. You are going to write out S times T equals D first. And the way you remember S times T equals D as your formula is Stinky Tim Died. That reminds you of S, T, D in the order that they go to. So you're going to write S times T equals D. For all of these types of problems, you write that out first. And then you fill in the numbers that they give you. S stands for speed. Do they give you the speed? It says, what was his average speed? So we don't know that. I'm going to put a question mark there. Do we know the time? Yes, the time that he drove was seven hours. So I'm going to put a seven right there. And then do we know the distance? He drove 217 miles. That's how far he drove. So that's a distance. Now I have a missing number here. Something times seven is 217. How would you find this missing number? Well, this is a missing number in a multiplication problem. So I'm going to do division back this way in order to solve it. 217 divided by 7, that's 3, 21, 0, bring down the 7, 1. So the answer is 31 miles per hour, MPHs.